All right. So in this video, uh, we're gonna be talking about the adventure workshop um, for the first trial and against the boss here, which is Senosuke. And Senosuke is a little bit tricky to fight here. Um, I could have recommended a CD setup uh, team here, but the problem here is that Senosuke here has a countdown, lethal countdown buff. And basically it reduces every turn one stack and upon one stack he will cast a powerful attack. And if your frontline character isn't tanky enough, he might essentially one shot you. So CD wise this is not gonna work with that. So instead um, I went for the classical move with brute forcing it using uh, alternate pang. Uh, honestly, Yamitsuki is not really necessary, but you could use another character that can heal or grant armor or buff your frontline character. And Chiyuki, basically I use her for uh, manipulating the command zone, so there's always enough um, gold orbs in the command zone. But you don't have to have her, because if your punks already two times enhanced with his radiant uh, alternative skin, you already transform two or three orbs into gold orbs on the f most furthest to the right of, of the command zone. So that's actually not a big issue at all. So essentially, uh, we're gonna pick... Oh yeah, without his unit, I'm gonna show you that you can actually win this fight if your Pang is halfway tanky enough and strong enough to take on. You only need these, uh, you don't need any more than that. Radiant Master Pang, uh, it's two times enhanced already. I picked as an advisor um, Yanbo here in this case because um, you can easily stack three buffs with um, Pang here with his free, free orb skill here, which grants him wall cry and tank up. So basically, we are triggering a second attack with him, and this synergizes, synergizes well with his passive, which triggers another extra attack again. Basically, we are killing him as fast as much as possible before he gets enough turns, so... But what I can recommend is, uh, instead of Yamitsuki, if you want to use somebody else, uh, technically speaking, you could actually use... Uh, let's see, for instance... Honestly, there are not many... Not much choices here, but Charles, for instance, would be not a bad idea, I think. His alternate here can heal and simultaneously attack. And it also removes uh, Alter Sosome. Yeah, he clears orbs. So if you're having issues with oh, Command Zone, you can actually pick Charlie, for instance. But other than that, uh, none of the characters here really perform well. As a secondary. Now uh, you could actually use. Um, yeah, you could actually use Karin here. Not the best choice, actually. But other than that, I don't really recommend any of the other classics, actually. So that, that, that's totally fine. Alright. And as for your guild advisor, honestly speaking, any character that has damage improvement works well. Considering but if you have these armor sets, then you can actually pick someone like uh, Baba SP here, which will trigger you have to select a character every turn, his first orb skill. So in this case, we will select Pang, and Pang will combine with these two advisors together, he will attack at least three times in a row, or even four times, depending. 
how 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 things accumulate here because here you can also trigger one more attack with him with his passive I think hold on uh... yep and trigger self one up skill again so he will attack four times in a row okay uh, let's begin <laughs> Our runes are for instance I go for this one. We could also go for this one. This one's no benefit. This one's big no no for instance. So we're gonna pick this one. No no problem if Pan gets it because the furry or the pauldron's armor set will remove the debuffs at the end of the turn. Uh, especially go for this one. Calculate stamina and upon the each turn deal bonus damage. Basically all the damage you attack in this in that same round it accumulates and stores it and once the turn ends for you that damage will then immediately uh, released upon the enemy it's actually quite useful if you want to uh, maximize your damage output would recommend sacrificial sacrificial obsession which grants you vulnerability uh, but it really doesn't matter for you because of like I said the uh, pauldron and the furry set removes your debuffs every turn at the end of your turn so that's not a big deal actually got my auto on. and I wouldn't use this way if your characters are quite strong because it's kind of a waste None so far. Okay. okay, now we're starting to roll in now where he has three stacks now, so we trigger Yanbo's uh, all the time. Combined with uh, Baba SP. We're going to take him down really fast here. Okay, so we have... how much do we have? Two. Okay, we gotta add two more. Oh yeah, he also attacks whenever you grant armor, so do mind do, do be mindful about it. Uh, but for me, that's not a big issue. The best part in all of that is um, Pang, Radiant Master Pang here heal, heals himself with his third one up skill every time he strikes. So essentially, I don't really need armor for that part to fight him. Yes, 
Okay, now it starts. This is where we can dish out a lot of damage now, now that we have accumulated enough. Okay, let's see just how much damage he gets from all of this together. This is his passive. Now comes Yanbo. Oh, okay. So Yanbo is always at the end of the turn. That's sad. Okay, yeah, there it goes. So it's actually quite fast. It's how many rounds? Eight rounds only. So that's quite fast. If you had the, uh, if you had Pang's uh, golden SR item as well, you can dish out or in one a single free orb strike over one one hundred thousand K damage on him. So it gets super fast. In like four rounds, you're done with that fight. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, alternatives you could actually use is... Um, uh -huh. is this setup, for instance. Okay. Uh, where these both are going to manipulate the... Um, uh, the cooldown timer. So he won't get his turn. Not as much as possible. But you can still manage if you have a strong and tanky uh, front frontline character to take that fall because of the damage. So that's actually not okay. Uh, healer, I think you don't need it because uh, Frederica here can heal. Essentially what's really important is not... So you need someone with damage reduction so that's actually really important to m mitigate the damage but in my case I picked Chiyuki because of her uh, second ability here which also grants um, duplicate on the front row cat and that's why my Pang isn't going to die at all as you just saw that's one way how you can actually win this fight easily just brute uh, just basically just brute force it <laughs> But other than that, I have no better options, which are the most suitable. If you have MC characters or something else, you can do it, but this is the most easy budget way to use your team setup. If your roses are not as big as mine, for instance, and you don't have much choice which character you can use, uh, for instance, these are good setup. Instead of um, using Frederica, you could also go for Puggy. Uh, Pugi is actually also useful. He can grant CD th free, plus 3 and he can also heal as well. Not the best choice, but good enough. Good enough. Definitely. It's just I would prefer Frederica alternative here because uh, she attacks simultaneously and fixes the uh, cooldown turn to 2. And it's a triangle shaped one so it's easier to control the command so okay that's it thanks for watching everyone uh, i hope this information helps you in how to figure out how to fight against things okay see you next time thank you for watching goodbye